In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. A fucking fair dinkum, fucking full grown Aussie. And the dog cunts. These are their stories. The next defendant is Jamie Smith. Hello, Your Honor. I'm Jamie's attorney, Sid. Last name, Alexander. I'm uh, here to defend um, Jamie on whatever it is he did. Mm, and what is he accused of? Look, to be honest with you, I can't remember. I didn't bring my suitcase that had my notes in it. I had to bring my lunch. And it would have been too heavy to have bought both. <sighs> then forfeit lunch and bring the notes, Mr. Alexander. Well, that wouldn't be a service to him or me because if I'm hungry, I'm not going to be on my head game. But um, if he did do it, and I don't think he did, but if he did do it, can I ask for like a, uh, uh, what's it called again, like a reduction in sentence or something? Mr. Alexander, admitting the fact that you look like you've been sleeping in your office for the past week due to a divorce. Oh, well, call me wet laundry because you have me picked. You've also applied for two counts of bail. I'm not a superhero, but I'll do what I can to make the world a better place. The court in its last hearing had determined that he was applicable for four. Well, what if I knew he was guilty of those two counts so I didn't bother applying for them? Can you advise me as to whether that was a good decision? Hypothetically. The next defendant is Abdul Jahan. Who's this? Hello, Your Honor. This is my cousin Zadiz. He'll be representing me in court today. Does he have any legal training at all? No, he does not, Judge. All right. Well, it is not my position to give you advice, but I will. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, you're not me, and isn't it good we're all different? Abdul! You are getting someone to defend you who has as much legal knowledge as you do and currently isn't defending you. He said nothing this entire hearing. Well, blood's thicker than water. That's all I'm going to say. I'm postponing this hearing for another two days and hoping you come to your senses, mate. Come to my senses, bro. No one knows me better than my cousin. Yep, and it's previously stated that is not a reason that he should be defending you. Next defendant. Well, if it's not, then maybe it's not me that needs to come to my senses. Maybe it's the system. The next defendant is Frederick Etoc. Who? Frederick's your name, is it not? No, nah, it's Fred, mate. Well, Fred's clearly a shortened version of Frederick. Who says? Your birth certificate, mate. Well, I've never f***ing read that. Let me see it. <sighs> All right, officer, please hand these documents to Mr. Etoc. Nah, I changed my mind. I'll look at it later. Are you trying to play some prisoner mind game with me? F*** me dead. My legal strategy's been exposed. You've been charged with possession of a small amount of heroin. How do you plead? Not guilty. It was my mum's. Your mum died in 2004. Who says? Her death certificate. Yeah, whatever. You're just making this up as you go along. Excuse me? Do you know what a birth and death certificate are, Mr. Etoc? No. Unless someone is a missing person, we are usually very certain if they're alive or not. Well, my mum's missing. I haven't seen her since 2004. <coughs> Can I change my story? Well, I don't know what good it'd do now. You've just admitted to lying. No, I'm not lying. I forgot. It was my brother's. Maximum penalty. What's maximum penalty? Jail for three years. Bye. Well, can you put me down for a detox clinic while I'm there? I think I'm addicted to heroin. Please share and comment below. Come in.